This video has taken far too long to make. I've gotten flooded with review requests lately and one by one I saw this video getting pushed back further and further until just the other day I decided I needed to get this done. Just decided to do it. These guys have played a huge part in keeping things going on my channel lately with my hair and keeping it healthy and I felt it's just time I get this out. So let's get started with this brand new segment. This is Shampoo Search. What is happening guys? My name is Mike and welcome to my new segment. What this is, as the title suggests, is an in-depth look at shampoos and conditioners. How this segment came about is my personal decision to stop using a brand that I was using in the past and in the early days of the channel, Pure Dior. Now, so I don't get sued or anything, let me just say I'm in no way trying to bash them or suggest that you don't purchase their products. I just personally made the choice to look elsewhere, not based on the performance of the product for me, but really just because the company was very hard to communicate with. And when viewers are expressing concerns to me about their stuff or questions and I can't get answers, that, well, doesn't work for me. I really had no ties keeping me to them, so this was an easy decision. I wasn't getting paid by them, I had no contract or anything, so I decided I would just begin looking at other brands. Since then, I have found several that I've enjoyed. My eyes have just been opened to several things regarding shampoos, and today's subject has been an awesome part of that. I have actually had this shampoo and conditioner from the Groomed Man Co. for a super long time, like at least six months, if not longer. So it's given me a long time to get to know this brand and their stuff. The Groomed Man Co. was started in Melbourne, Australia by Daniel Mahoney. They were founded on the belief that every man should feel great about the products they use. Their line consists of hair and beard products including beard oils that use botanical oils in their purest form and hair and beard washes that we're going to look at here today. The products we're looking at today include two sets of shampoos and conditioners that are designed for both the hair and the beard, the Musk Have set and the Cool Cola set. Each one has some similar attributes and some that are different. Let's first start by getting a look at the ingredients and the highlights for each one of these products. We're starting with the Cool Cola set. This shampoo and conditioner set is designed to bring dry, lifeless hair back to life and into a healthy state with its use of healthy ingredients and specialized cleansing properties. It contains no sulfates, parabens, or silicones, and instead it features cleansing agents like activated charcoal and major ingredients such as pomegranate enzyme and provitamin B5, while the conditioner features ingredients like watermelon seed oil and shea butter. The scent on the shampoo is a nice blend of cola, citrus, spice, and herbal scents. The conditioner though sports a scent of sweet orange, nutmeg, and coriander. The Musk Have set actually has the same ingredients as the Cool Cola set, with the exception of the fragrance, which this one uses soothing notes of vetiver, ylang ylang, cedarwood, and mandarin. Now let's go ahead and demo this shampoo. I mean, really, that's what everyone wants to see, right? We're going to demo the Cool Cola set and get a look at visually how this makes my hair look. I'm starting with some bed head that has some product left in from the day before. Taking a couple pumps of the shampoo, I'm going to work it in there real good and then rinse. And then without adding anything to my hair, I will blow dry to reveal the end result. What I have here is clean hair that feels soft and full of body. It's not too dry or stringy and obviously volume won't be an issue. As for the conditioner, I did the demo without using it. So one, you could see how the shampoo affects my hair by itself. And two, because the brand actually doesn't recommend you use conditioner after shampooing. I know some other people and other brands that agree with this, that you shouldn't condition after shampooing. But personally, I always condition every time I wash. I really don't see another time that I would condition but not wash. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So being as I personally use the conditioner after the shampoo, let's take a step back Back, wash the hair up again and then start with the conditioner. So now I've washed my hair and I'm adding in the conditioner. I really like how it instantly makes things feel soft in my hair. It's very apparent as I work it all in. After rinsing I'm going to blow dry it once again and the end result here is awesome in my opinion. The biggest visible difference I see here with the conditioner versus not using it is the overall poofiness of my hair. It looks and feels more controlled and that's how I like things to be when I begin to style. 
Another reason I wanted to do this segment was to kind of explore certain shampoo myths that are out there. Because through my research into the shampoos I'm actually planning to show you in this series and my correspondence with these brands, I have found that the majority of these things that were led to believe are bad simply aren't. Conditioning after shampooing was one that really surprised me because I think we can all agree that most brands encourage it and most people do it. Again, this is just me personally. I find that conditioning after shampooing gives me the perfect result and I've been doing it forever and never really had an issue. I of course encourage you to experiment and find what works for you and your hair. I do have to say though, for the groomed Manco shampoos, they have been a secret weapon of mine since I got them. I have mentioned them briefly in the past, but to let you guys in a little bit on some of the back end stuff I do with my reviews and testing, every time since I got these that I've been testing a product or demoing one, whatever, and I needed to wash my hair, these shampoos have been one of the top three that I've been using. Back when I just did that clay catalog part three, I had the most clays I've ever done in one video. And I washed my hair in ungodly amount of times like in about a week for that video and I relied heavily on these guys to keep my hair feeling and looking awesome. They have also worked to wash out every kind of product that I've used from pomades including oil base to waxes, clays, tonics, whatever. They also haven't damaged my color which has been really important. For oil based pomades I found that it does work if you start with some conditioner first and then follow it up with the shampoo. Each cleanser comes in a 300 milliliter or 10.14 ounce bottle and sells on their site for $30 a piece. Or you can buy the sets that have both right now for $56.80 US. And with that, they actually offer free worldwide shipping on their site. There's no code or anything needed on that. It's just free worldwide shipping, which is pretty awesome. In regards to which one you should try, that's totally up to you. Both of them smell awesome to me and I really don't think you could go wrong with either one. They both work great and they're the same price. So Again, either one works awesome. You can't really go wrong here. So I say just choose one of them and dive right in. As usual, I will put links to the Groom Man Co. in the description down below. I highly recommend you check them out. Let me know in the comment section also what you think about this new segment and these cleansers. I'm going to continue with this segment with other products very soon. So let me know what you think. Remember to also drop me a like and hit that subscribe button. That's a huge help to me, so make sure you do that. Finally, tomorrow, Wednesday, the 29th of November, I'll be going live here on the channel to unbox the November Trendy Butler Box and possibly discuss some other things that might be of interest to you. Hint, hint. So make sure you're ready for that. I'm going to kick that off around 4 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Should be a lot of fun, so I hope to see you guys there for that. And that is it for today's episode. I want to thank you so much for stopping by the channel today. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.